Hey, what's up? It's Ken. So I recently entered in this contest called the Virtual Filmmaker Challenge, where the goal was to create a compelling story in under 60 seconds, and you only had one month to do it, all inside of Unreal Engine. And I'm excited to say that I won third place. Ken, congratulations, man. This was an absolutely awesome film. Ken, congrats on getting third place in this competition. This was an incredibly well done piece of yours. The character facial animation is so uncanny and good. Skyscraper, in my opinion, is one of the boldest entry of this challenge. Huge congratulations to our third place winner for Skyscraper. The film is called Skyscraper. If you guys haven't seen it, I'll uh, link it down below. But here's a breakdown exactly what I did to make this compelling story. This is the third short that I've made in Unreal Engine. And switching to real-time filmmaking has completely changed how I approach storytelling. I don't own a mocap suit, so everything was captured using Move AI. Then I cleaned it up using a built-in control rig for MetaHumans, and some of the shots were harder than others. For faster animation cleanup, I built my own hand pose library. I also relied heavily on tools like the plugin Locodrome to speed up certain areas like selecting body parts. One tip I found super helpful was indirect manipulation in the control rig. Hiding the gizmo and all the other elements made the viewport look way less cluttered. For the MetaHumans, I used high-resolution heads from the 3D scan store and converted them using the mesh to MetaHuman. For the environments, I created the 1940s New York City vibe using the Google's Earth API. I cleaned it up in Blender and detailed it with different kit bash sets. I modeled the blimp myself in Blender and textured it in Substance Painter. The cloth physics was simulated in Marvelous Designer. Having to make two characters hug each other, though, was trickier than I expected because I had to make sure each person was not clipping into each other. Otherwise, the clothes would start glitching everywhere. For the handheld camera work, I used LiveLink with an iPad. First, I would manually keyframe the positions and rotate the camera movements. Then overlaid handheld shakes using my iPad like a virtual camera. So really, it just lets me sit in my chair and fake the camera movements with my hands. And it actually worked pretty well. A huge thanks to the judges, Sam, Austin, Jean-Baptiste, and Jonathan, and David for putting all of this together. I'm incredibly honored to be in the top three. Also, thank you to all the tutorial creators out there. You've helped me find all the solutions to those little bugs and issues I've had along the way. If you haven't seen my previous short, Cyberpunk Samurai, I'll also link it down below. Thanks for watching. I hope this will help you in your projects, and I'll catch you on the next one.